It's a story of Bay Area greed. A prominent car dealer might have skirted the law for more than two years until now. He's accused of walking off with millions of dollars from investors, the state of California, and the federal government. We exposed him last year, but now a new twist. He's in jail. Let's bring in our chief investigative reporter, Tony Kovaleski. Tony. Raj, for nearly two years, we have brought you the story of Ron Battistella. The unanswered question has always been, how has he remained a free man? Tonight, that question has an answer. He's behind bars. Mr. Battistella, Tony Kovaleski, NBC Bay Area. That's Ron Battistella, former member of the Sheriff's Advisory Board, longtime Bay Area car dealer. Will you explain? Will you explain, sir? Please stay away from him. Please don't touch the camera. Get the f out of here. Please don't push me, sir. Get away from him. Excuse me. On that night, as you know, sir, we've been trying to talk to you. We met Mr. Battistella and some of his friends outside a Warriors game, asking questions for his investors. They wanted to know what happened to their $1.3 million. Mr. Battistella, what do you say to the people who want to know where their money is? Can you say where the money is, sir? He avoided our questions, and for more than two years, he avoided the law. Finally, you know, we, we, we are seeing justice. Vincent Guan invested more than a half million dollars in Mr. Battistella's business. He is a criminal. He deserved to be in jail. I thought that he was going to get away with it. George Schurz lost 70 grand. It had to be intentional, because uh, when you look back upon it, he meets all the requirements of a con man. They are two of 20 investors. They all trusted Battistella. They lost their money and temporarily lost confidence in the justice system. In the months that followed our original investigation in November of 2012, cameras regularly spotted Battistella at Warriors games. That's him in the second row, sitting with friends in their seats, enjoying the NBA, while investigators from Santa Clara County reviewed the investors' accusations. Did you ever expect to see Ron Battistella in handcuffs in a jail jumpsuit? There was a time that, you know, I, 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 I would say that I lost hope. I thought he, you know, he, he might get away with it. In January, the longtime Bay Area car dealer traded in his courtside seat for a seat behind bars in the county jail. Arrested, for nine felony counts of securities fraud and theft. This is uh, a massive scheme to the order of $1.3 million that uh, victims have invested their money in this, uh, in this Ponzi scheme and, and they've lost it. Nine felony counts that started with this advertisement in several Bay Area newspapers, a promise for a 10% return for investing in one of Battistella's dealerships. I think the investors want to know, where did the money go? Do we know? We don't know. A lot of money. It's a lot of money that's missing. The criminal charges also accuse Battistella of failing to tell his investors he owed the federal government $600,000 and the state of California $1.7 million in unpaid taxes, information that might have changed investors' decisions to hand over their money. Mr. Battistella failed to disclose those things, and Mr. Battistella misrepresented uh, facts about where their money was going to be used. Ultimately, leaving the former member of the Sheriff's Advisory Board in handcuffs, behind bars, charged with an aggravated white-collar crime, fraud, embezzlement, and a pattern of felony conduct. I told myself, finally, you know, we, we, we are seeing justice. It's been a long time. Is there satisfaction knowing he's behind bars? Yes. It's it would be nicer to have the money back uh, with him in jail, but at least he'll be in jail. He's wearing jail clothing. He's in handcuffs. You say he took your money. What's that image mean to you? It means justice is served. The DA has also charged Mr. Battistella's former accountant. Battistella has not yet entered a plea, but his attorney has offered the following statement. It's a very complex case. Ron had no intention of defrauding anyone. Actions taken by various government agencies have seriously impeded his ability to repay investors. We are confident when all the facts are known, he will be seen in a different light than he is currently. Now, Mr. Battistella remains in custody on bail that matches the amount he's accused of taking from his investors. 
$1.3 million back in court next week. That's a lot of money. Thank you, Tony.